Hey guys, welcome to another video review on buymeaniphone.com. Today's video review is sponsored by Purporta.com. Uh, they are makers of uh, cell phone and iPhone cases. And uh, as usual, I'm Omar C. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a very cool software. It's called Z iPhone. And this is a jailbreaking software that you use to jailbreak your iPhone. Now, I've had a lot of questions about jailbreaking. Um, I myself have had my my iPhone jailbroken for probably about 90% of its life that I've had it. Um, there was a point in time when I updated to the 1.1.4 update for the iPhone where um, obviously I lost my all my jailbroken setting. It wasn't jailbroken at that time. And I was pretty miserable for about two months until they figured out how to jailbreak that. Um, and so I just feel that having a jailbroken iPhone makes it a lot more fun. It's more innovative. There's a lot more things you can do with it and the applications you can add to a jailbroken iPhone. A lot of people I talk to are pretty scared about trying to jailbreak. They feel like it's kind of confusing and there's all these things you have to keep in mind. So um, I figured I'm gonna, I was going to go ahead and jailbreak my iPhone again and show you how easy and simple it really is. So I'm going to switch. I'm going to show you my desktop on my computer as I, um, as I download the software and install on the iPhone. And I just want to show you guys it's really a simple process and so it's nothing to be scared about. So uh, I'm going to switch it to my desktop now and show you how it's done. Okay guys, so here we are on uh, ziphone.org is the web address, so you go to that website, and this is the site here, the blog of uh, Zebri, the creator of it, and you click here to download the uh, software, right there. So we have two options here, one for Windows Vista, and one for Mac OS. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click on that one, and download the software to my desktop, click OK. Takes a few seconds here, uh, it's not a very big software package, but it does take a couple seconds or so. So I'm going to let this uh, download and I'll probably speed this process up and skip to the end of it. Make sure that your iTunes is uh, turned off when you ever, whenever you um, get this going as well. Make sure it's not on. Alright, now it's finished downloading, so I'm going to go to the desktop, double click it. It's installing there, it's opening the disk image right now. There it is right there. So you just take this, drag it to your desktop, and now you have the application. There it goes. I'm going to close all these windows out since I don't need them anymore. So I'm double click on the application Z iPhone right there. So I want to open this, go ahead and open it, save to open. So here we go. So here are our options, uh, and this is the home screen for it. So I have the iPhone and iPhone iPod Touch options. And then the first one here, we have unlock, jailbreak, and activate. Jailbreak and activate, or just jailbreak for iPhone and iPod Touch, and that's what we want to do. And keep in mind, uh, before you jailbreak this, make sure you sync your iPhone with your iTunes just to make a backup of all the stuff that you have on your iPhone right now just in case anything bad happens uh, during the process of jailbreaking. I'm going to pause the video real quick and just explain these other options that we have here. Uh, so we have unlock, jailbreak, and activate, which is the first option under iPhone. So obviously if you want to unlock your iPhone to be able to use it with uh, T-Mobile or any other GSM providers, maybe if you're in another country, this is what you would do. You would need to uh, unlock it, and if you unlock it, you'll be able to jailbreak it and activate it. And when it means activate, that means you know when you first buy your iPhone, you have to activate it via iTunes uh, in order to use it with AT&T. So what you can do here is you can basically forego that step and forget about iTunes and you can use this program to activate it to not only jailbreak it but also unlock it and use it with any GSM uh, carrier. So let me start playing the video again. And so here it is, it's starting to jailbreak my iPhone. Now keep in mind what what it's actually doing here is it's setting your iPhone into recovery mode is which and which that's what it needs to do in order to put the software on it in order to jailbreak it. But this is what's gonna happen right now is my iTunes just opened up and it says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Leave this alone, do not click on anything, just push it in the background and ignore it completely. You don't want iTunes to touch or mess with anything that's going on right now in this process, so just Pretend like that never even happened, and just let the uh, let the software do what it's supposed to do. And now, um, what I'm going to do now is switch to my other camera and show the iPhone and show you exactly uh, what you'll see on your iPhone, what you'll see happening while uh, all this is going on. 
okay? All right, so here, here's my iPhone, and it just went into recovery mode, or it's about to go into recovery mode. There it is. So the iPhone goes into recovery mode, and this is the symbol that you get on the screen. So uh, you don't have to be worried about this. Just let it do its thing. And this is going to take about a minute and a half to go through all of this. Your phone's going to start looking really weird and crazy with all those characters and stuff going on the screen. But don't be alarmed. It, it's uh, This is what it's supposed to do. So just let it sit there and do it. Let the magic happen. So I'm just gonna play some uh, some jazz music here while we while we wait for this to finish up. So here is installing the base apps for installing uh, probably an installer app on your iPhone. What you'll need to use install third-party applications. Now it's restarting again. And that's it. The iPhone is now jailbroken and you're ready to install or get started installing third-party apps.